Hi, Hi Holy Cross! My name is Sophia, and today I'm joined by Caitlin, and we will be interviewing Mrs. Campbell. <laughs> Wait, can I do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing during quarantine? Well, that's a great question, Sophia. Uh, well, during quarantine, and obviously, um, I've been spending a lot of time with my daughter. It's technically like an extended maternity leave for myself because my return back to the Holy Cross um, happened to coincide with all of us being home for quarantine. So, um, and anyhow, uh, during quarantine, I have definitely taken up some new hobbies. Uh, baking sugar cookies is a big one and I'm trying to get on that. And then the other thing I think during quarantine is I've just been ordering too many things online. I think that they're making it a little too accessible. So I've been ordering clothes, I've been ordering bubble tea deliveries, uh, I'm ordering furniture now for patio season, um, but. All right, um, how long have you been teaching at Holy Cross? So I've been teaching uh, at Holy Cross. So I started teaching at Holy Cross in 2012. So technically that was about eight years ago, uh, but I taught at Holy Cross for two years and then after two years I had an itch to go travel abroad and teach abroad so I actually moved to the UK with my husband and I taught in London uh, for a couple of months and then when I wanted to return back so then I taught at uh, St. John Burbuff High School which is in Abbotsford and I taught there for about two and a half years and then finally um, afterwards I returned back to Holy Cross because that commute to Abbotsford was as if you're driving to I don't know like Portland and um, so I returned back to Holy Cross back then so I've been at Holy Cross in a full entirety for four and a half years. So that's how long I've been teaching at Holy Cross for. How has quarantine been while teaching at home? Have you had any struggles? Definitely. Um, at the beginning it was very stressful. I had to realize to let go of a lot of things. I'm a type A personality and I I love just teaching in general and me realizing that I can't do everything with you guys, especially from a science background, like doing labs, it's not going to happen because I don't have those kind of materials at home to hold experiments. So it was stressful realizing that I can't deliver the content that I would have done in class with you guys um, over and online. Uh, the other thing too is, again, meeting at least my grade eight. I was brand new to me, so it's hard because of your new teacher and I've never met them, um, again, because I've been on maternity leave for the past year. And so I had to meet all of you, including Sophia, uh, online for the first time and, and say, hey, I'm your new teacher, now do this work for me. Uh, but other than that, um, it's been challenging. Is there anything you enjoy about teaching a thing? Oh, I think I like the the flexibility and I think the teaching at home aspect makes me realize that there's so many great online resources that I would never have been presented to if we weren't doing quarantine and then it gives you guys more opportunity to try out these cool websites and, and learn from uh, these resources as well. Are there any other classes that you teach besides cymatics? Yes, so I teach Cymatics 8, which is obviously the combination of science and math. I may have deemed that name Cymatics 8 two years ago, so that's all thanks to me. Uh, but I also teach uh, Math 10 and Math 10 Honors. But I will add this, if that's okay. Uh, um, I've taught more than 13 different subjects. So you can oh. <laughs> now know I've taught everything from uh, Socials 11, to IT, to business, to marketing, to English, to religion. Yeah, I've done lots and lots of different subjects. Uh, what is your favorite thing about teaching? Uh, my favorite thing about teaching, again, and I'm trying my best to do this online, is really getting to know my students. And I just love, again, having a genuine conversation with you guys, um, knowing and learning a lot about you. Most of the time, I'll find something in common with each student, and that's what I love about it. Um, I just love building relationships, even though it, it can be challenging because that means I have to get to know every single student, but I love it at the same time. Uh, um, what grade do you like teaching the most? Okay, so I enjoy uh, teaching both grades. 
Uh, I love, again, both the 8th and the 10th, but I would say the 8th, I prefer teaching and I like teaching them the most because, like I said, uh, when you guys enter grade 8, you guys are so scared because you're the newbies of the school and you guys used to be the top dogs in elementary school. So I love that there's a mixture of you're so scared and then the on the opposite end, none of you guys have any filter whatsoever because you don't know how to act and how what is technically appropriate behavior um, at, at a grade eight level. So you guys are just so entertaining. So I like I love the grade eight. Okay, um, our next question. So we heard that you like really like Harry Potter and you're a big fan. So do you have yeah. any favorite characters? Oh, so this one was so tricky. Um, I had to uh, really narrow it down, but my first my first thought is obviously Ron Weasley, and then Dumbledore, and then the twins, Fred and George, and then Hermione, and then Luna. But again, there is two more, so I'll go with Ron Weasley. Final answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, next question: What's your Harry Potter house? Oh, okay. So this is another one. So I've taken a how many tests over and over again <laughs> uh, I have and I've purchased way too much Gryffindor merchandise to not think that I'm a true Gryffindor but apparently every test has told me I'm a Hufflepuff and so I'm a Hufflepuff I think that's my personality so I like to call myself a Gryffin Puff or other people call it a what is it a, a, a Huffledore so I like Gryffin Puff you do the one that's technically you first do you have a favorite Harry Potter book? Another tricky question you ask. Uh, but my favorite Harry Potter book uh, is first Harry Potter uh, and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and then Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Okay. Last question before we end here is, how have things changed since you became a mom? Um, so I think, let's think, like more laundry and more cleaning, definitely. But on a serious note, uh, no, I, I think I'm generally a very positive and happy person. So I think I'm even more happier. I don't even know if that's even possible, but I am. I'm so happy with the fact that I have a little mini me, Emma. And, you know, I love my family and I just, I can't wait to, you know, see her grow up and she better love Harry Potter and I can't wait to just let her experience the Wizarding World of Harry Potter with me. Um, I love it. I've never, I never knew my personality could change for the better, if that makes any sense. But I love being a mom. And I can't all wait right. for all of you to meet her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking your time to join us today. We really appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Thank you everyone. Happy online learning. <laughs> Bye Holy Cross. I'm going to go across.